This is a game the Giants are going to look back on with immense, immense frustration. An example uh, of what could have been. They went up uh, against one of the most high-powered offenses in the entire NFL in the Cincinnati Bengals, an offense that came into this game averaging over 26 points per game, and they held them at bay. In fact, it felt like the Cincinnati Bengals were trying to give the Giants this game on a silver platter, uh, but the Giants just wouldn't take it because of consistent self-inflicted wounds. You had that brutal red zone interception from Daniel Jones, the ineligible man downfield on Andrew Thomas, which erased a 60-yard gain uh, for Darius Slayton. You had the two missed field goals by Greg Joseph of 45 and 47 yards, a third and 12 for the defense with an opportunity to get the ball back for Jones uh, with a chance to drive down the field and win, and they give up a 29-yard gain. When the Giants are at full strength, when they have Devin Singletary in the backfield, Malik Neighbors split out wide, uh, they can survive some of these self-inflicted wounds. They just can't do it when they're at this much of a disadvantage. They need to play a near-perfect game, even if perfect games means ugly. What the Bengals gave them, that was an ugly game. It was an opportunity for the Giants to steal one against a team that is more talented than them. They did not do that, and they have only themselves to blame. Uh, unfortunately, in this Giants season, which, again, we, we didn't know what to expect from this team, uh, the NFC East is there for the taking. In fact, if the Giants had beaten the Bengals, they would have been just one game out of first place. Uh, the Washington Commanders sitting there at 4-2 and two with a game against the Philadelphia Eagles, the 3-2 and two Eagles, coming up next week. Instead, the Giants lost. They find themselves two games out of first place. And this season, when you look back on it, this might be a moment where you say, what could have been?